Hey everybody, welcome into Going Public. I am Harry McCullough. We're speaking this week with Wendell Curall. He's a South Lafouche Levy District. And uh, we were talking, I see you on the news all the time, right? I was like, man, you... Well, look at it, 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 right, right here. And one of the best things you told me is like, because we got a good story to tell, right? Yeah, well, that, well, usually good stories don't make it. It's right. always the bad stories, you know, and... Uh, uh, again, it was, it, you know, I think, I said, okay, every morning I'll wake up, since August 29th, I'll wake up, we still didn't flood. Okay. Right, right. The thing is, uh, uh, the fifth most intense storm to hit the United States on the critical path for us, you know, it got Fouchon, Grana, and as bad as the back wind was for Terrebonne, still the worst water and the worst, worst oh, wind yeah. was just to the right. And that we didn't flood, that nobody died, and we did have some overtopping. The only place the water accumulated was in the sugarcane field, and they had a great harvest that year. So what more you want out of life? We feel so lucky. Yeah, you know, fish was good. And it, sugarcane yeah, was good. That's yeah, right. But good. you know, it's better to be lucky than good. Right. You know, we you know I, we work real hard. I got to compliment my guys. They work real hard uh, to get the levee where it was. We just barely made it. And you know, you 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 have to work that way because you know you can never guarantee that you're gonna win. Right. You know, we've been right. winning since 1985. But look, if God decides to put his flood waters three feet higher than the levee, we, we, we lose right. and we flood. Uh, the only negative thing about the whole situation was too many people stayed. Uh, that's right. not, that they, was they a powerful getting... storm. And look, you get a, you cannot tell. I can, I, I can tell you I cannot guarantee one person we would not flood. In fact, I felt more like we were going to flood than not flood because that storm was so powerful. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it did hold up. We got water to the top. You know, we have a levee in Golden Meadow that's right along the four-lane highway. That the water got, it's a 17-foot levee, and the water got to 16, and, you know, right in the middle of right. Golden Meadow. Uh, just, just things worked out for us, and we're just lucky. And, you know, uh, we also think about all the hard work from the beginning with Dick Givdy first getting the levee started and board presidents that, that focused so hard, uh, the Ontario uh, Ronald, Kali, and, and, and now we have Keith Guidry, uh, and all our board members. You know, we're so lucky our elected officials appoint people who have one focus, and that's keep water out of people's homes and businesses, and we've been able to push at that, and again, we, we, we can't guarantee we're not going to flood, but we can guarantee we're better today than yesterday, we'll be better tomorrow than today. Right, you know? and, and look, I mean, it wasn't like the, the storm just passed, and you, now you got debris, you got all kind of stuff. It, it's been a... It, to get back to this point, it's been a completely uh, tough job, right? Well, you know, Groundhog's Day, you wake up in the same story. <laughs> well, it's just the opposite. Right. It's like the August 29th never ended and right. everything was changing. And you know, you never, you know, just to me, just things started settling down just a couple of months ago. You know, we had a million cubic yards of debris. I talked to people who have done Katrina and Rita and other big storms, said they never saw more debris than they did for that storm. Right. And it, just, it was just an incredible situation. We feel inc incredibly lucky right. that, that, that things worked out the way they that did. That it was just a wind event, not a flood event, right? Well, it, well, I said ju you, you said right, just I know. a wind I, event. I, okay. yeah. I mean, maybe 10% of the homes weren't damaged by the right. wind, you know, the shingles and, and roof damage. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for some poor people, man, I tell you, you know, you look at, you know, my house, the office, you know, uh, had some problems. Uh, what you know, shingles mm -hmm. got pulled off and water got in. But you had some people. I mean, they oh, were yeah. intense. Uh, they and, and still, 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 still on trailers. And yeah. so you got you got to uh, you know you got to uh, hope that they get <clears throat> they get to where they're right again, so everybody can be happy and <laughs> we clean up the area. And uh, by next year, we hope it's just a bad memory that, that we had to go through that. Right. You know. So uh, look, let's go to our slides and begin with uh, without flood control, nothing else matters, which is a great point, right? It, it, we, when you live in, in, in a, on, on a delta, and I like to always start with the flag, because some people don't know what, what American standards are and what America is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I like to always remind everybody, right. you know, you, you, you're here, you, 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 your job is to do the best you can for yourself and then for your family, then for your community, mm -hmm. and then for your state. And and um, we, we all got to do it, and especially when you pull in with a project like we were involved with, everybody right. got to pull together. So, uh, yeah, I went down to Grand Isle for the 4th of July, and, and when you go down that four lane, you look to the right, it's a lot bigger and a lot taller than it used to be, right? So, well, that, yeah, that, we, we, uh, we, that's what this is. We're we minimum at. 16, but we, when we can afford to, we go to 18 feet, and we needed every inch of <laughs> right. levee bump for that storm that just hit. All right, so let's start with the pictures and yeah, we'll yeah. take a look. 
And uh, yeah, that, that's what, what I was talking about. There. Yeah, we've been uh, continually improving the levy and, and getting it up there. And and you're doing a big project. And, and this next slide, I just I want to put it in there because you you know uh, you sh the struggles. And, and and Reggie knows what I'm talking about. Oh, and everybody yeah. who does this type of work, when you do big projects, you, you know people have a, a, a legitimate complaint sometimes, and sometimes they don't. But it doesn't matter. You know they're upset about something, and and you got a right to be upset in this country. So. We had that sign up for, on the, or, or, it was a, a, near the four lane for years, you know, and the landowner was not happy what we were doing. And, you know, we, you look at that stuff and so you want to work real hard and make sure that he's not right. right <laughs> that, exactly. that we're not screwing the levy or yeah. the people. So we work real hard to make sure that that's not a true statement. That, you know? uh, that sign's getting old, right? Well, and that's it's a good going. sign, right? It's going. I oh. don't know if the, the <laughs> owner took it down or the storm did, but either way, it's a good thing for us. <laughs> I like when it gets older, right? And it yeah. get washed away. So, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, then what is this next slide? We're well, at? we had damage. You know, we were in a heavyweight fight. We had 13 foot storm surge, and then that 130 to 140 mile an hour wind that was run up on the levee. And so we had tremendous energy. And uh, this structure here is a loop T wall. That's where a loops pipeline comes into our oh, system. I got you. And we have some, some sheet pile that go from there. Well, the dirt part that you see, that was all taken out and damaged. We replaced it, and that's the replacement that we have, and we need to hurry up and try to get some grass growing on it so that it can hold that levee together and better. You got it on both sides. On right? both sides, yeah. And the next line. Next line. Yeah, you see the other yeah. side. And uh and then we had How that, fast can we get grass up there? Was that how fast can you get grass up well, there? Well we, we we actually get our guys water and stuff right now. I got I you. mean uh, we have a, a lock is right near there. So we're working hard to get that up. Now we got steel sheet pile behind it. But but we don't we don't want to get to that point. You, know? <laughs> right, right. you don't want to. You know it went through. <laughs> like it, it stopped, stopped right here. It did stop when when you know yeah. we replaced it, and you want this to keep everything in place. So uh, you know you, you gotta have a little bit of insurance when you do stuff. So the next and slide this, is the is the, right, the now this right. that yeah and this is at the lock itself. And if you look at that brown look, mm -hmm. and you have at that the, the black on top, well the brown is the old elevation, and that was right at twelve feet, and the storm would have put would've, water over the top. Right. We raised it to 16 feet uh, about, I guess, about six or seven years ago, and man, it paid off for this storm. And you said it got to about 15? So well, it was about actually, a foot below it was really funny. In the body itself, it only got to about 13. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm thinking because you have a channel, right. the water came and just fell. As you got, got away from the body, it was up to 16 when you got to the corner. So it had been, been like a foot below that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. and then uh, the, the the damage you got to keep on repairing stuff. Right. You got to uh, keep on going. Like uh, next slide, please. The uh, uh, that erosion is getting to the point that it could destabilize the levee. So we went ahead and and and, and we start and, uh, get take care of every little thing that you can. And that's on the inside wave action eating up on the levee. Okay, next slide. Now you know we we would like to use rocks here, but rocks cost about a hundred fifty dollars a linear foot. We can get this plastic sheet pile in there for about thirty-six dollars a linear foot. So for right now, we're we're, we're going the, the inexpensive. Why are rocks so expensive? Because the transportation. They, 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 yeah, it's, it's heavy. Yeah. Just like dirt, dirt's right, cheap. Right, right. But the longer you put it in, in a truck, yeah. that dirt's not cheap anymore. Right, right. Rocks are the same way. You got to travel a long distance to get the. Because we've always said that about I man, Grand Isle to just be just have to be ringed with it. But that's why it's the transportation. And, 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 you know, you have There's weight. No mountains around. You have weight, and we have, you know, we kind of want some some uh, pudding, kind of, you know. Right. And so, the, if you put lighter protective stuff, it doesn't sink as fast. But in this area, I'd, I'd really like to have some rocks. But we'll we'll eventually get there. But right. uh, we we just hang on what we can get right Where now. Where is that? Oh, uh, that's on the east side of Bayou Lafourche uh, near the lock. Oh, I got you. A little yeah. bit on that side. Yeah. Next All slide. Right. Next. And this is a levee that we had that had gotten over top of water, was kind of had a whole bunch of debris. Uh, we hadn't finished lifting it, but we have it right now up to 18 feet. That's on the uh, east side of the bayou, just a little bit north of that previous picture. Mm -hmm. It looks good, don't we? And, and again, this next slide, uh, we have really raised that levee. And the berm, you can see, is real. It's one of our, our strongest levees, but it parallels the the. the it goes east to west, and those levees got hit the hardest for the storm and were over top the most. So we put, give a little more special attention to those levees. And and they, um, 
you will eventually have grass all over there. Oh yeah. Now this is on the inside. So so yeah, we need to get just the next slide is that same area but the outside. I and so you. a little bit further ahead with the uh, with with the grass and you know, we've got another kind of month before the serious hurricane season. So we're we're doing everything. You know, I tell my guys, you see a, you see dirt throw seeds. I said, I don't care how fat the birds get, just keep on throwing <laughs> seeds. Because we need to get that grass to really give a, a chance for it to handle some wave action. Right. And, and you don't, you don't have people that are, that you, we could never make a, like a recreation area where that would be on top of that. Kind of like the Mississippi river. This is a different deal. Well, uh, uh, well, Cause you're still I, trying to get higher, right? Well, yeah. yeah, but I mean, you could, but because uh, of, just re handling the monies down. We, we, we don't want to do it. The other issue is it's still the private landowner's property. Now, right. he has fee title. Now, we've right, taken right. basically the surface. Right. But if there's injury, they would sue us. They would also sue the landowner. So if, if we could free the landowner of, you know, of right. uh, that, well, then we would look at maybe doing a few public things, other places. But, you know, I'd love to have Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, just do oh, the top of awesome. 11. Yeah. And they could see the inside protection, right. see the water in that borough canal at a minus seven, right. and the water on the outside at a plus one to see that, see how bad it looks outside. <laughs> we used to have amazing. a little bit of marsh. Now it's just a wide open. It's scary. It's really scary what you see out there. Hurricane season's here, right? Yeah. I mean, I, that was the big worry. I mean, right after the storm, I mean, a, a, a million cubic yards of material, uh, anything that you could make a camp with, tons of floatal marsh i mean i'm talking four to five feet thick on the levee and they're estimating at 25 dollars a cubic yard that's 25 million bucks i'm thinking where are we going to get the money how are we going to get this done can i get it off in time i got to get the grass growing got to get all this debris off and about i'd say a month and a half ago i started getting a little comfortable it's that, that there, it, yeah. well we got all the debris off right we're working hard on getting the grass growing in, in, in every place. It's, in some places, it's growing real good. Other places, we're still working on it. Uh, but we are really, when you look overall, better than last year because we're higher in some places than we were. We're thicker in some places. The only thing, some places, we haven't got all the grass growing. But but uh, we're we're in good shape going this year. But again, you don't want to get tested. Look, those high-pressure systems beating in the middle of the country. You see, usually when those highs are right there over Bermuda, right. it comes right to us. You know, uh, if we can get some luck and we need a break. <laughs> yeah, we need a <laughs> that break. That if, if those high pressure systems stay where they are, we, <sighs> we could get protected a little bit. I know? keep getting scared of, of Lake Charles, though. You know how they just had it back to back. Oh, yeah, it's well, like, yeah, we, yeah. we do not need it. it. It ought to be like after you win a Super Bowl. Like, you, you can go 10 <laughs> years without another one, right? It's like, it ought to be something like that. Well, I did. I, I, I went with people in the, in the Cameron area and lake charles and grand bayou where they had a 17 foot storm surge yeah. for laura you know oh, luckily yeah. people don't know lake charles got the, the wind but the water was just to the east had that storm been 15 miles further west lake charles would have had that wind and, and it would water. have had near 17 15 to 17 feet of water think about how yeah. terrible that yeah. would have been oh i know yeah. i was talking to some people about that and like Lake Charles is way inland. Why, why well, is this they, happening? They call but it it's not northerly no, left. But there's nothing between Lake Charles. I mean, I that's why they call it Lake Charles. Uh, the the lot, lake just south of it. And I guarantee less. that water would have got, it would have yeah. been terrible. It yeah, you got been a big terrible. lake. Great for spec fishing, but not good for hurricanes. That's right. And, and, and again, there's a lot less in between there after those couple storms Absolutely. than they used Absolutely. to be, as we all know. So uh, let's look at the, continue on with the improvements. And uh, Yeah, this is this is one area that we had some overtopping. Uh, this wall was not in place. Uh, it, this wall was at, That's at, a new wall. at 18 feet. Uh, it was at 12 feet when the storm hit. And we had some debris get in and that's- So some, that's an improvement. Oh, it's it's a it's a major improvement. We expect to have no problems uh, again in that area. And that was where around LaRose? This is again on the east side. Uh, probably if you, on the west side would be Golden Meadow. Mm -hmm. There's a large form out there. Oh, and, I got and this you. is the, the near their pump station. We have that, that wall that uh, we've gotten up. But again, water got in last time. Same water with Nadia dropping. Wouldn't get in now with, right. with that be completed. I got you. So next slide, where are we at? Yeah, uh, this is uh, some area, and this is on the west side, not far from behind our office, where we had, you know, we, we do a center line survey every year. We we uh, get a machine on there, and using GPS, we can tell within a, a golf ball's width the height of the levee. And 
some you know you 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 keep building in some places it was like a foot low foot and a half low and this place was our foot and a half low and we've got it now all the way to 18 so that's in great shape yeah you, i mean you can see the water right there and that, yeah no that, no that's, that, that's a good picture to talk about because the water on the left side is in our borough canal okay and that goes almost the whole length of the system we maintain uh, our pump stations are on there for drainage and mm -hmm. so the drainage all goes into this canal well this canal is maintained at a minus seven feet the water you see on the right is at a plus one so there's an eight foot differential every day right now that plus one on the outside for the storm was a plus 16 Woo. plus 17 right you know and and uh uh, there's a lot of lot of weight against that levee. When you look at a cubic yard of water, it's like 1,200 pounds, right. and you have it stacked together. That's uncompressible, and uh, the levees held them out real oh, well. Great. Even with some slide over time. Because I mean, osmosis, right? Is where it wants to seek its right, well, yeah, the and, level, and, and, and it wants to go through. So but, but, it wants to go through there. Right? But you had that's why the width is the way it is, and that's why you put the material you put on there. If you got bad material, you make your levee wider. If you have good material, you can be a little bit thinner. And we also had to make a compromise with height over strength. You know, we think the design is, is a little bit over designed for strength. And we know that uh, if the water gets over the top, you don't know what's going to happen, right. if it's going to erode away or not. So we have gambled to go with height rather than strength, but still strong enough to hold it back. Mm -hmm. And this, this, this storm really kind of it's good let us know that our, 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 right. our calculated risks were, were Okay. That had, we had done okay with that. Mm -hmm. All right, next uh, next slide. And this is you know just getting uh, getting the grass growing, and you see we have some uh, terraces out there. Uh, right. Uh, we had conical Phillips. We had uh, CPRE, uh, Parish of Lafouche, uh, Ducks Unlimited, all working together to uh, get those terraces out there. And the terraces are good. Is that new? Oh, well, well, new technology, new, new science. Well, well it's. We, we started back in, what, 2002, as we were losing the marsh on the outside, we called it a marsh apron project. What we decided to do is any in, environmental project or any mitigation, let's do it. On, uh, you know, marsh is good wherever you put it, but if you put it by the levee, it helps protect the toe of the levee. And so we've been doing that, and we have probably in the ballpark of 12 miles of levee that we have uh, terraces or... We've got a marsh platform, but we've reestablished some protection. So everyday wave action does it right. erode the toe of the levee. But you see it's working. Though. No, you it's, it's done it. a great job. And look, these terraces survived that storm. Right, right. Because they, they go in the water yeah. early, and, and it's where that wave action hits is where your damage comes in. We had one segment of the levee. The waves hit right in the corner of the levee and actually ate it up eight of that side and that was one of the repairs that we had to do to right. get ready for this year that's so amazing and as you say so you knock down a structure now that structure is part of the water which is also part of the kind of ban battering ram that's hitting your levee that's right oh, yeah, exactly besides when the, when the marsh, water but when yeah. the marsh goes away and we get these at least they, they knock out the everyday wave action and you can see a tank still on there right we haven't got every bit of debris the oh, bigger piece oh that's debris oh yeah that just came from somewhere <laughs> Oh, oh, look, look we, I thought that, we had, was, I had a, I thought that was a pumping station. A tractor trailer. <laughs> was in the, I, I don't know if I put it up in the picture, but the tractor trailer is still, still there. <laughs> yeah. We still have some debris. All right. Yeah. So uh, we continue on. And obviously, again, this, this is a, yeah, another buy it. We, we, uh, our guys, our equipment uh, going, we had put some dirt out there, and they, they're taking the dirt and putting it on top of it, bringing it to 18. Yeah. Okay, so now... He... And then we, uh, for hurricane season, uh, every time we get near to hurricane season, we have a couple of gates. Mm -hmm. This is on 32, this is on LA-1 as you head out of the system. We have the, the levee is right up at, at 12 feet and that gate is at four feet. So 16 feet of protection, oh, I'm sorry, 18 feet of protection on that area. It's it's uh, it's at six and, and, and two. So you're locking those guys out or in? Well, they actually, pull, they, they're inside, <laughs> you know, they're smart. You know, we've got some real smart, we hire intelligent people. So they inside of the gate as we took this picture. That's right. Now on 3235 in the La Rose area, we'll show this next slide. Yeah, the next slide. And uh, we, we were kind of short on money and we couldn't afford the steel gate. So we, we have this uh, design. Aluminum? Uh, it's aluminum. Uh, you call them uh, uh, sections that, that are put in there. And that goes from a 10-foot elevation, raises it to 13 feet. Now, 10 feet on the north side is, is usually pretty good. Unless it's a really big storm, we, we don't do it, but we've done it a couple of times because we can't, you know, you just can't take a chance right. of getting water high on the outside. Right, and it's the finished and, product. And there they are, yeah. 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 
uh, well, you know, as as we finish up, you know, they're starting the LA one, the four lane all the way there. Is that going to make any difference to what you're doing? Well, yeah, uh, we'll be able to, you know, the, the, the gate closing, we try to work with the people and, you know, they have come in from Grand Island and just some people have some material between the lock and Grand Island Fusho and Fusho is out there. So you want to keep the gate open as long as possible, yet you got to close it and not be caught by surprise. Once the the uh, elevated highway is in, um, we will never have you know, to close. We, right? we don't. Get... Well, we'll or leave it closed. I right, mean, right. Uh, you know, there's always another way to get around. But but I mean, we'll leave it open for very, 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 very local traffic because there's not that a lot of people. Speaking of that, outside of the system, there were about 20 structures outside of the system where the lock is toward Leeville. After Ida, three survived. Wow. Now so you we lost in, 17 out of the 20. 17 out of 20. And they were elevated, a lot of them. Right. And you look inside the system, and yeah, you Everything had broken glass, right. and you had some roofs that had damage, but but you, you they didn't disappear like they did outside right. the system. And that's the water, right? That's the, the wind water. does one thing, and look, I, well, that's I, the difference. We had people but, in Bay St. Louis, right, after Katrina, and the wind does one thing, but the water, they came back to slide. Well, you can you see know? the example of the same wind on both sides of that the system. And what a hydrated storm looks like, and what a dehydrated right, looks like, right, and you right. want to be on the dehydrated. Side. Right. Yeah, it was still a brutal storm to go through, and, and with wind, and obviously I would wish it on nobody. And, and look, it's, it's just, a lot uh, better to come back and kind of rebuild than to not have just slabs. You know? Well, that, but that's the whole point. It's a, that, mm -hmm. As much as people suffered, man, everybody was just at least happy that that flood water didn't come in. We dealt with the rainwater, and that was terrible. <laughs> you know, I mean. So much sheetrock, and guy tells me he's gonna pull out the drywall. I said, no, no, leave the drywall. Just take the wet wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the drywall. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> Wendell Curl, thank you so much, man. We All right, yeah, we're gonna visit. That's going public. We'll see you guys next time.